this is totally flat on the bottom and I put it down and it's not perfectly flat, I might create an air bubble there between that and the bottom is where, you know, part of the centering process and the conditioning process both is coning. And so in the coning process, we're aligning the materials in the clay itself, plus we're getting the clay um, more aligned as far as being able to have it centered. And so a narrower piece of clay is easier to center, so the coning actually makes it easier in my perspective for, for beginners when you become an accomplished potter uh, all of this would not be a hundred percent necessary but you can notice right now without really doing much to this piece of clay it's pretty well centered all right it's all pretty well centered all the way up because this is a much narrower area and so I've got it centered so all I have to do now is to bring it back down and manage it as I bring it down keep it pretty much straight down. One thing you can do is you can just take this finger here and put it down here like this and just let it rest on the top here. It'll find the middle and just gives you a center mark like that. Okay? And then take your thumb just go right straight down. Keep it stiff. Just go right down like so. Okay? Opening up. Get your bottom thickness and condition your bottom by moving your finger back and forth on the bottom. Maintain your vertical here by bringing it in, keeping it in. You let it get away from you. Once it gets out really wide, you can't get it in. Okay. All right. So there I've got my bottom down here set up. Again, uh, pressure in the center and bringing it out, which will narrow it down on the bottom. One thing that when you first start throwing you have to get used to is don't be afraid of your clay. You know, you got to be in charge. You, you, you make the clay go where you want it to go. It doesn't go where it wants to go. If I don't like it where it is right now, I can get in here and say, okay, I don't want you in there. I want you like that. Okay, put it where you want it. Kind of let that clay know who's in charge. All right, I'm going to leave the, leave the bottom the way it is here. Get out here. And we'll go from a different approach on this. We're going to go to a cylinder and then we'll try. Instead of making a narrow thing, we'll make a white thing. Okay. All right. First start out is you can use the claw, the pinch method to bring things up, narrow it up like so. Keeping it vertical. Compact the top. Keep your top by pink. Alright. And if you want to take that and play around with it a little bit to get it into say what you call a little bit more of a desirable. Right here. You can do all kinds of things with it. Narrow it down a little bit more. Water out of it. 